Oh uh, yeah, family. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Go ahead and click it and come back to see me. I appreciate you. Let's go. Ooh, we didn't I tell you I was coming back. Are you a believer yet? I done told you already. I don't make believe. I make believers. Did you catch? Oh, greetings, family. Welcome back. This is Drummer Boy 1980. I hope you had a good day today, fam. If not, you know the old adage. Ask yourself why. And remember, happiness is an inside job. It's an internal affair. You heard me. Guys, we back today again with my man, TB8. Jason Black on the radar again. Guys, this is a very good show. And there ain't anything that I can preface. I'm going to just play the video, get your popcorn ready, and let's have a conversation. Let's go, guys. Call him here, Code 708. You're on live with the business. What's your name? Where you calling from? from Austin, Illinois. All right, Sean is out there on the road again. What's on your mind? So, I've always learned to take notes from the broadcast, and I learned so much from you. You're asking about Vivica Fox, how she says she's so fine at 60 compared to who? Well, I would like to compare Vivica Fox to somebody like a sexy red, right? What? You say you, and I'm saying Sexy Red because you saying that's where the action is. So if you put Vivica Fox next to Sexy Red, all these degenerate things they come out where they can't wear no evening gown and all that, it looks like Vivica Fox can wear an evening gown compared to Sexy Red. Then you got Tony Braxton. Okay, well, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay. Let's just stop there before mm -hmm. you get running down the freeway. All right, let's go ahead and mm -hmm. unpack that. You're trying to compare Sexy Red to Vivica Fox. Um, the first mistake you're right. making is trying to imply that there is a difference. Simply because Sexy Red wears her trauma and her problems openly tattooed on her does not make it more egregious than Vivica Fox because the bottom line is Vivica Fox is Sexy Red without the tattoos. What? Ooh, hoo, hoo. Did he say it or did he say it? See, people are trying to make that distinction. There is no distinction. Sexy red trauma is outwardly. It's tattoos, these pierces. She's talking crazy, talking about venereal diseases and all this whole crazy stuff. What's she talking about? Booty hole, Brian, and pound time, all of that. But Vivia Fox does it in a different manner. They are the same person, but just packaged different. That's all it is, guys. I've been saying this for years. You have what they call the bougie class, the talented tenth, and all them. And then you have what they call the hood chicks. You can't make that distinction no more. Now, the hood chicks are outwardly with it. They have colorful and all of that tats. But then you have the women lawyers and the doctors and the, and the uh, psychologists and the nurses and all these people, right? Their mentality is one and the same with the hood chicks, but it's not outwardly until they open up their mouth. And then when they open up their mouth and how they comport themselves and how they act, I'm like, I can't tell the difference between a hood chick and somebody that's supposed to be corporate. They act the same way. He nailed the perfectly, guys. Because you are not gauging Vivica Fox's attitude. Please show me what aspect of Vivica Fox's attitude, how she talks, how she, her, the way she speaks about men. Tell me what about her is worse than Sexy Red. I mean, is better than Sexy Red. Well, I haven't, um, most recently and today, I haven't seen Vivica Fox crotching her crotch trying to tell us what she's working with. I haven't seen Vivica Fox do that. I haven't seen Vivica Fox advocating STDs like gonorrhea. And no, no, no. Vivica Fox doesn't do that. No. What Vivica Fox does is sit up here and talk about you weak ass men. What Vivica Fox does is pine for 50 cents. What Vivica Fox does is the disgusting absolutely reprehensible behavior of sitting up here and, and disrespecting Kevin Samuels when he died. Now, as you all know, I, 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 I've always remind people here, everybody knows where my stance was on Kevin when he was alive, but I'll be damned. You heard my program when that man died and what she did there, that was reprehensible. That wasn't just, that wasn't just rude. That was a character defect. That wasn't just unladylike. That was uncivilized. So at that point right there, her and that her and, and I've never seen sexy red do nothing like that. 
by the way, I've never seen Sexy Red do nothing like that. What good is a woman going on 60 years old? She has no empathy. She has no compassion. A woman without empathy and compassion is useless. That's not a woman. That's not a woman. If you remove a woman's empathy and compassion, this is why we have such an unfeminine generation today uh, for the last two, three generations of females, because without empathy and compassion, you're not a woman. Guys, the truth is the truth. I don't care if you don't like it. It doesn't have anything to do with it. You're going to eat this cake anime and what Jason is talking about. For those that don't know, Kevin Samuels passed uh, a few years back. And let me show y'all the clip, okay? He was a, a, a hypocrite. In my honest opinion, he really was. I didn't find anything about him to be healing. He insulted uh, African-American women on a consistent basis. Uh, one of his last statements that uh, he said was that if you're over 38 and you haven't married or something like that, that you're no good and disposable. Um, to me, it was a shock jock. And, you know, I, I hope this is teaching folks a lesson about the karma that you put out the negativity that you put out in the world, that when karma comes knocking at your door, she might not be so kind. So, you know, the fact that he uh, killed over real quick and was uh, supposedly with a woman that we don't know, yet know the nationality. Um, rest in peace. Mm, did anybody see the Jezebel spirit all over? Put it in the comment section, fam. Do anybody see it besides me? The attitude is oozing out of her pores. It's seeping right through. She can't even conceal it. And that's probably why she's single. So she goes on to say that he bashed African-American women. The survey says, ding, ding, ding. She's not telling the truth. Kevin Samuel, your whole shtick was being submissive. I guess that's bashing. Being in shape. I guess that's bashing. Bringing them back down to reality. Land the plane. It's a clear day. Land the plane back to reality. I guess that's bash. And there is an old maxim, an adage. The truth is crippling out to most women. Everything writes itself. You don't have to dig hard. You see it directly in the front of your fam. She misquoted the man. They're just useless at 38 and la la la. That's a lie. He did not say that. Matter of fact, here come the clip right here, guys. You have made it to 35 years old and you're unmarried. You are a leftover woman. A leftover woman. You are what is left. Men know that there's something likely wrong with you. Whether you want to hear it or not, I'm going to just go there with you. I'm telling you the truth that you don't want to hear. Men know that there's something likely wrong with you. But you cannot be fit in a, a, an adjustable six or higher, 35 unmarried, something wrong with you. That's where men automatically coming at it. And here's the thing, just like when you were between the ages of 18 and uh, 25 and you didn't want to settle, you were trying to get the, you were trying to get the CEO, the pilot, the investment banker, you were trying to get flu down man dying was should have automatically engendered that in her that man ain't said nothing to her he hasn't done anything to her and even if he had kevin has some choice words for me when he was alive but when that man died you didn't see me do a damn victory lap you didn't see me sit up here and any of that garbage i didn't do any of that i tried to be frank with people but you take a look at the end of that program i was adamant about by the way the man had earned some respect as a human being, he has not done anything that is so egregious to get the response she did, except that he told the damn truth. She's a cast off, throwaway, leftover broad, and niggas ain't checking for her. And she didn't like that somebody popular was saying that and the world caught on to that. She didn't like reality of that. And look what it brought out of her. Somebody is dead. You don't know this man personally. Somebody is dead. If you are 35, 36 or what have you, you are what's left over. Because most people is married at that time, technically speaking. Am I right or wrong? Put it in the comment section. Hold me accountable. But it's one thing women don't like. A woman in truth is like fire unto their bosom or something. They just can't stand it. This woman just sat here and said 38 and uh, he said you ain't no good. Vivian Fox just sat up here and told a bold face lie. Speaking of face. She need to take off that Michael Myers H2O mask off. At least you can get an update version. That's the H2O mask. God told me.
I said, face all bloated up from Botox and everything. Ain't got the nerve to talk about karma. Ain't that something? Go sit there and talk about karma and bashing women. If that's your definition of bashing women, well, I guess I'm a basher of women then. I want a submissive woman. I want you in shape. After she had our baby, I said, like, babe, mom, you know, it's time to get in the gym or something, man. Huh? That ain't me. I'm just telling her just what I like. I wasn't mean about it. No, when she got the weight down and she looking nice, looking rather, hmm, spiffy, as I say, huh? <laughs> yes, I want my woman submissive, huh? And my wife is going to hear this broadcast. Yes, I said what I said. I don't mince words. I want you in shape. Huh? I want you classy. I like to see dresses on a woman. That's just my thing. Now, guys, I know some people go have a fit in the comment section, but you know by now that I don't care about that, right? Whenever I look at a woman, I like to see a woman classy. I like dresses. I like heels. I like that look on a woman. I don't want no woman walking around in Timberland boots and all that old crazy stuff. Now, granted. That's my personal preference. You like what you like, and I like what I like. All right? This Vivian Fox character got a reputation. Do y'all guys remember when Ice Cube came on the show? And man, that was unbearable. What about women? He's saying black Americans. Women are black, right? Everything falls under the umbrella. That's how you know they working for somebody else. And you know who that somebody else is Because the minute you say black They try to turn it into a gender thing The minute you say black How about the LGBT? The minute you say black Black and brown No Whenever that we say black That's what we mean Black Everything falls under the umbrella But moving right along Guys I got a clip that I'm about to play Where Kevin Samuels was talking about Vivian Fox That might be why she upset Let's go But how about you black men they have a problem with? are the ones that are outspoken. The ones that are outspoken. Because the outspoken ones tend to be unbothered. Tend to say what's on their mind. Why? I mean, when you listen to what Vivica A. Fox said and 50 Cent, I mean, and Curtis Jackson responded and said, man, my ex-lover still want me. 17 years ago, we was together for four months, and she's still mad. My Doom Doom must be better than I thought. Kudos to you, 50 Cent, for smiling through it. Because who looked more hurt? Curtis Jackson or Vivica A. Fox? I mean, have you guys looked at the way Vivica looks these days? Every time you see her, it looks like she done sucked on a bag of lemons. Now, I remember back in the 90s when Vivica was hot. Fine. But Vivica, but, but so many women like Vivica A. Fox um, fall into a broadcast where I said, women have already met their guy, and they blew it. A woman like her with that access to everything she's had, she already met her guy, but she likely blew it. And why is this such a problem? We're going to get into it. The only problem when you're a high value black man is when you're outspoken, you're out in front, you're masculine, heterosexual, unashamed, and unbothered. Let me say that again. When you're outspoken, you're out in front, you're masculine, heterosexual, unashamed, and unbothered. Really? Really? And this is your response. So at that point right there, no matter what you think of Sexy Red, at best, she wishes she could be Sexy Red, and at worst, her and Sexy Red are peers. Mm. Okay. Well, let me go to your pride and joy, um, Miss, Miss Renner. Right. So if anybody's going to lay up with, with her at this point, I think she didn't confess to all her, her shenanigans. Basically, um, it's no, it's, you're uncompetitive if you lay up with somebody that laid up with that many people. You're already uncompetitive. I mean, you laying up behind 50,000 other people that's, 
you don't even know. So Brittany Renner is Brittany Renner uh-huh. is and obviously it is clear that Brittany Renner is bipolar and personality, borderline personality disorder, if not full blown personality disorder. Brittany Renner is surviving on a body alone, period. And if you are still in the Nostalgic for what she was 10 years ago. Last but not least, Brittany Renner is a hoe. And she appeals to dudes who like hoes. Basketball players, gamblers, athletes, politicians. There's a number of men in society that like hoes. And Brittany Renner is a hoe and knows what to do. And she's she's been unapologetic about that. Okay, now here's what I want you to understand. Listen. Brittany Renner is also one more thing. Brutally honest. Damn. Unlike most females out here, Brittany ain't hiding what it is. Her cards are on the damn table. Unlike most females out here, you can say whatever you want to. You don't want to do what Brittany, what a man would want to do. But by the way, Brittany would get the nod because by the way, yeah, Brittany is out here. She in these streets. She's doing her thing. Um, whether it's respectable or not, but by the way, she she at least wears her colors openly. She's not pretending to be something she isn't. You know, like 90% of females try to hoodwink dudes. I just got off the phone with a fella. But two dudes in a row. These women married these men lying the whole time. God told my didn't know. The fire is hot on this side. Can y'all feel the heat coming through there? Because I feel it on this side. Brittany Renner is an honest hope. See, some of y'all don't realize something, guys. Some of the best game you can ever get is whenever you can just sit down. I didn't say engage in any type of sexual activities, no transactions. But the best game you can get, some of the best game, shall I say, is what a stomp died whore. If you can just sit there and just pick a mind, oh, trust me, she will blow your mind. Let me say that one more time for the camera. If you can sit down with an honest whore and ask her about women, she'll blow your mind. I'm telling y'all what I know. See, some of y'all don't get that because first thing you'll do is be trying to slide her $40 or something. Oh, God, too mighty. $100 or $200. Yeah, I see what I see. And that's your problem. Everything about sex, 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 and you ain't learning nothing. Huh? Brittany Renner is at least an honest whore. She put it out there for you to see. It's on Instagram. It's on Facebook is on Twitter. It's everywhere. So a guy know exactly what he getting into. So he walking into it with his eyes wide open, basically, guys. See, but the problem is some of y'all ain't gamed up enough to honestly just sit down and just have a conversation with a woman like Brittany Renner. Brittany Renner is better. Females, she a hoe. Yeah, but she, unlike you, you're both hoes, but she's honest. Yeah, you both want oh, the cute. truth of the matter is you both want the same damn thing, but she's she's just like, hey, I'm straight about it. This is what it's gonna be. As a man, we can respect that. We know we're getting into. As a man, we can respect that. Why are these fellas hang on these hoes? Zion Williamson and them. Because even, even the damn porn chicks, she's straight up about what she wants. I want that Richard Milley watch. I want that Bentley. Okay, well, she's she's honest. The other females, oh, Zion, I love you. And, you know, I just, you're just so intelligent and leadership. And, man, okay, they sit here lying to you. So, yeah, you want to know about I'll, Brittany I'll Renner? By the way, she's honest. Why would, as men, you why know, would, stop, as men, why would we not respect her being honest? Tia, Tia, Tia Maori, she um, Haley Berry and um, Tony Braxton, everybody can play the same card if they want to walk around in public looking like they off a porn hub because that's what all the other females do. If you notice, all the other young degenerates walk around with little um, skirts on, the church skirts and all okay, the but that, heads but that, d- Okay, but wearing... And everybody can play that wearing, game. No, wearing G-strings and booty shorts isn't the only thing that makes a woman a degenerate. Facts. You're trying to split hairs. That's not the only thing that makes you a degenerate. There are plenty of females with no tattoos, no bastard kids, and they are complete scum-sucking, gutter-dwelling degenerates. Sodomites and gamorites. Straight up. 
So this, you sitting up here trying to say, okay, I want a female who is just really extreme and ostentatious. That doesn't make them better than the ones whose presentation is more subdued. Okay, but you don't have to be wearing a bunch of tattoos to be a degenerate. There are plenty of females in Sexy Red's audience who show up to come see her with no tats at all. Does that make them better than her? Is it not the truth? Can anybody disagree? Put it in the comment section. Can anybody tell me something different? Do you have any information that supersede what he just said? Because I found that to be truth in my personal life. This is not just anecdotal because there are many other guys that can testify to this. Just because a woman don't have no tattoos, that don't mean anything. She can be the most attractive, wear-mannered individual you ever met. But she also could be the worst individual that you ever met. Let me teach you something. A woman don't have to be loud with her mouth. Her spirit can be loud and noisy. Nobody know. I just talked over probably 95% of y'all here. You can be around a person. They don't have to say anything. But their spirit loud. They con. It's everything. They vibe. They are. It's just completely y'all. And you know what I'm talking about. I don't have to ask my wife if something wrong. I know something wrong with her. You understand that? She don't have to ask me if something wrong. She knows something wrong with me. You understand? So you don't even have to open up your mouth. You don't have to utter one syllable, one sound, no vibrations, no anything. So I said all that to say this. You could have a nice, demure woman and her spirit is just noisy. Some of y'all would catch that later on, later on in life. You know, but I, I can understand. I can understand where you're coming from, sir, and I appreciate the. Um, well, I want the, you to understand it, something, Sean. It is more important to okay. a man to have an honest female than a lie. We would rather have an honest hoe than a lying wife. Facts. We're expected to put our lives. We are expected to put our lives on the line for a female to defend her, to sacrifice our resources, to sacrifice our time. Yeah, we'd rather have an honest hoe than a lying wife. Now you seem to have trouble wrapping you know your head around that. Being, look, you know I'm in a discount being with all the other hoes and whores or whatever you want to call them. Uh, I didn't I'm tell you. I didn't being say that. Them. I didn't Let say that. But if you do. Look, let me say, I can I can guarantee you though that Vivica them, that that thirty five year old quote unquote dread he going he going. Soon as he sees Vivica and all the other hoes, he going. Just like when the thirty five year old thirty year old see me, he going, and he definitely gonna drop a bag off. So it ain't just uh, laying up with a, a girl. He he gonna drop a bag off. He gonna go to work every day and still put in. He gonna put Sean, in and sit in that. Sean. So this Sean. Are you driving? Because are you driving down the freeway in that eighteen wheeler right now? What you want? I'm asking that first. Are you driving the eighteen wheeler right now? <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay, you gonna you gonna, you gonna you gonna scare people off the freeway and ask you to do all that, but you gonna scare some folks and some little old ladies on the way to Albuquerque. You about to scare the hell out about them. Um, second of all, Sean, what kind of car do you drive, baby? I'm in a 16. I'm in a 2016. My car have an age Okay, baby, you you just sat here and talked about this. Some 35 year old dude dropping off a damn bag, baby. You sitting up here driving, working right now in the middle of the damn night and driving a 2016 Kia Rio, baby. What the hell? You who the hell you trying to fool about a bag? It's paid for, but like I said, I, I don't need a new car right now. Baby, there ain't no niggas dropping off no bag. This is just like the fella there before. He bought my mama a key fob. I'm like, do y'all hear the things niggas put up with? Do y'all hear the things niggas say? Fella's dropping a bag. No, he, he bought my mama a key fob. Fella's what, dropping a bag. What you driving? 2016 Kia Rio. I'll be damned. These these young women know the, the young women don't know y'all still catching every penny you could to wait on retirement. Y'all not y'all not throwing a bag like that either. Okay, baby, but, but my point is, you acting like somebody was sitting up here. You acting like somebody like was sitting up here paying dividends and dropping funds. I'm like, baby, you working as we <laughs> yeah. speak. So don't don't sit up here and exaggerate it. Don't exaggerate that, baby. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Give us a call tonight, boy. I'm telling you, they they tried to, don't they?
women kill me with this guys they act like men just dropping off all this money in that case they wouldn't be complaining about they broke they ain't got no way high in the world a broke man managed to find his way between your legs here hmm i got questions and i hope you got some answers for me. how are all these dusties as y'all classify broke i ain't got nothing don't know nothing. How in the world you managed to let somebody like that put a baby in you? Hmm. Just one of those things that make you say, hmm. And they say women smarter than men. I beg the difference. I got some questions. Ladies, get your pen and pad out. And I know you done heard this a million times, but you go here in my way, okay? Don't you know a man will sleep with anything? A lot of them will anyway. Because whenever that you get older, you can be very selective. Whenever that you have a little money, you can be very selective who you sleep with. And every now and then, you could have an ugly woman in the face, but her body bad, that man will just sleep with her. No. I'm, I, all right, okay, okay. A man will sleep with anything. So, you wearing that as a badge of honor? Yes, Vivian Fox can get somebody. Yes, she can. But can she get what she wants? Yes, Holly Berry can get somebody. But can she get the man that her heart desires? Yes, Tony Braxton can get somebody. But can she get the man that her heart desires? Is what we asking. And we all know the answer. No. Nope. Somebody just sleeping with you. If you call that. A badge of honor wear it then but we ultimately know where that leads to as well so ladies stop listening at these women telling y'all things which one of y'all have more visibility than a holly berry a tony braxton huh a vivian fox which one of y'all got more visibility these women have been around some of the richest men on the planet they have access to clubs, events, black tire events, all this stuff. And with their attitude, they couldn't get it done. So how in the world are you going to get it done? Hit that subscribe button, family. And come on back to see me. Hit the like button. I want to get into the algorithm, of course. Hit the share button, fam. I appreciate y'all guys. Hit the cash app. Support the channel, fam. There is also another option under the videos called a super thanks. You can click that as well and donate. I appreciate you in advance. Last but not least, I thank you for watching, fam, and rocking with me, all right? You know the old saying, come back to see me now, because there is more. Peace.